I am in the All Terrain Cane uh, booth here with someone who introduced themselves as uh, Sedona Dave, also known as David Epstein. And uh, what is it you have here, Dave? I've got the All Terrain Cane. Okay, this is a super strong, super lightweight mobility cane designed by a blind guy, me, uh, to stay active and hiking the wilderness trails of Arizona and everywhere else I want to be. Wait a minute, I, I'm sighted and I fall down on flat surfaces. You're, you're hiking with a cane. I am, yes. Um, it's, it's a super strong mobility cane. It's what I need, what I feel I need on the trails. Um, what does a mobility cane do? Uh, obstacle detection, terrain changes, navigation. Well, what do I need hiking? The same thing, obstacle detection, terrain changes. I, I need to know what's on the trails, but the regular street cane just wasn't cutting it. It's, they're made to be light and, and, and flexible and easy to pack away, but they don't do anything on the trails. They don't offer any support. Uh, they're, they're essentially useless. And they probably get stuck in crevices and stuff, just kind of pops around instead of moving? Right, they do. The, the joints pop out, they, they get stuck, they bend, they break, they shatter, and, and they're just they're just not effective on the trails. Now, I need support. There's really nothing to hold on to out there other than, what, dead cactuses and dead trees and javelinas. Um, when I first ran into trouble on the trails, in the, in the middle of my orientation mobility training, uh, the sun went down and I lost all contrast and, and, and I was not having a good time and my wife asked me what, what seems to be the problem. <laughs> she didn't like my poetry. Uh, and I said, well, I can't see. I lost contrast. I, I don't belong here. I can't do this. Oh. I, need, I need something. I need, I need this, but I don't know what this is. And that was really the pebble that launched the avalanche to what we have today as the all-terrain cane. This turned out to be a mobility cane that I can use for support, for balance, for slowing me down or breaking on the trails. So, as Dave is describing this, he's, he's pushing on the cane and, and leaning on it, and it's flexing some, but it's not, it's not bending like a, like a traditional cane would. Exactly. I, I needed this to be super, super strong to do what the instructors tell me not to do, lean on the cane, vertically load the cane. They're like, no, I never do that. Why? Why are you not supposed to? Why? We don't know. <laughs> Why? I need this. So... Can you describe the cane itself for people uh, who are listening? I would be so honored to. Uh, the, the cane does differ from the normal street cane in many different uh, ways. Uh, starting from the top, we've got a 16 inch grip, not just nine inches, but 16. And that allows us plenty of room for choking up either with a cane grip or a ski pole grip for added strength and support while descending, protecting our shoulders, using our upper body for strength. The top half of the grip does have that flat section we're accustomed to. The bottom half. I don't is, know anything about the top of a okay. flat spot so on so a cane. You feel that flat section. That's a guide, and that, that's for us to put our index finger on uh, to help navigate with with the cane. It okay, feels for feeling. Okay. Exactly. Right. Bottom section is just a round profile, and that's good for the ski pole grip. Uh, good positive grip. Yeah, I'm, I'm not on a slippery shaft. If I need to securely hold on. Oh, I'm locked on down 16 inches. And then there's a hinge at that point. There is, there is a hinge, but there's something else as well. At the bottom of the grip, there's a flip lock. I so open the Kind of like lock. a traditional um, tripod. Exactly. It's an external lock that I open up, and now I can extend the cane from 51 inches to about 62 inches. Oh, holy cow. That, that's like almost as tall as you are. It, 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 we, we call it one size fits most, um, but it, it really is one, one cane that can handle many different, not only heights and size people, but different activities. Oh, yeah, uh, if you're going to, down a real steep terrain, you need it to be longer, right? Longer, exactly. When I, when I ascend on the trails, I set the cane nice and short. So why is this so awesome and unique? Well, it's a, an adjustable length cane but it's also a folding cane. This is a three-section folding cane. 
So he just pulled it apart. I don't know if it, people, have, everyone has seen the way canes fold up, but you pull them apart like you would uh, uh, the tent poles do this, exactly. where you pull it apart and it's got a flexible line, it's got a spring in it, and you pop it. So he's now folded it into pretty small three pieces. Three sections, right. Um, so we've got a three section folding extendable length cane. Um, but the bottom of the cane is what really caught my eye when I walked up. It's red, so we've got black, white, and red. Yes. Now the bottom of the cane, uh, now the mobility canes are, are white and red reflective. That's how they look. That's the, I guess. That's the, for the, the sightlings. The sightlings, yes. <laughs> the sighted hordes uh, to be able to identify us. So I, I made sure the cane is white and red, highly reflective. But I'll, I also chose a two inch rolling ball at the tip. I feel that it covers mostly all terrains that I'm working on, not only smooth concrete, but the very coarse asphalt out in Arizona. Uh, my daily walk with the dog starts with the concrete, asphalt, dirt, rock, and now I'm on the uh, wilderness trails with him. Wow, so so this rotates this rotates about the axis of the cane? It does, yes. Okay. Uh, it's called a rolling ball, two inches. And, and I went with red because why not? Oh, yeah. Because why not? They don't have to be white and boring. Let's, let's bling it up for the kids and the adults. Uh, we're actually making our cane tips in four different colors. We've got red, yellow, a beautiful sherbet pink, and a red orange. I'm really excited about those colors. Um, <laughs> I Colors are fun. They, they really are. There's no need for us to be, you know, stuck in a corner or, or, or have you know, boring canes. Um, Got to tell you about the materials. Uh, super, super strong, designed for vertical loading. The cane is made of a grade nine titanium alloy. Oh wow! That gives it that's, super strength. That's expensive, though, right? It, it is, but why do we have canes that break? A, a, a car door can hobble us, and the. I find that insulting. We're, at worth this stage everything. Of our game. So for for the non-engineers in the crowd, titanium has a very high strength to weight ratio. It, so you incredible. could you could do it in steel, and it would, could be just as strong, but it would weigh a lot. It so weigh titanium an awful lot is more. A, a lot more useful. Absolutely, uh, it, it keeps the weight down and the, the strength up. And again, it's able to handle car doors or cobblestones or anything else that's going to bend or break our canes. Um, we need this, uh, and, and this is finding its way into all the developing countries um, where they don't have access to great roads or uh, great well, That's a good point. That, that could be just walking to go get water, not, not hiking. It's daily living. Uh, yeah, just yeah. like me in Arizona, it's, it's my everyday cane. Oh, it is? Okay, Absolutely. that's interesting. So if people want to learn more about the all-terrain cane, where would they go? Uh, simply go to awarewolfgear.com, and that's A-W-A-R-E-W-O-L-F-G-E-A-R.com, awarewolfgear.com. And you can put a forward slash ATC in there if you want, or it'll take you right to our site where you can see our, our great wear, our, our great uh, line of clothing, your werewolf gear, high visibility clothing for low vision people. Um, find yourself uh, to the all-terrain cane page, great information. We've got smoking deals on ball packages. Very cool. This is very cool. Well, Sedona is one of my favorite places. I love to see this. This is a really cool invention, Dan, Dan, I David, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Thank you so much for your time. I absolutely appreciate it and great to see you here. And enjoy the rest of the show and keep crushing it. Uh, if I can send you home with a red rock from Sedona, I'd certainly love to as well. Oh, that's great it's fun. Last, yeah, it's the last day. We can, uh, we can let him go. But uh, really, You don't want to carry him home. I don't want to carry him home. <laughs> All right. Thanks, David. Have a great day today.